everyone, this is Kyle from We Tech Care Review, and today we are going to transfer the ownership of a Microsoft Power App. Now, at the moment, we can't transfer ownership through the interface. We do need to use PowerShell scripts to do this, um, but that's what we're going to do in this session. So, as you can see at the moment, I am logged in with an admin account, and I've created a Power App here called Transfer App Final. Now, as you can see here, the owner is set to admin, and in the session, we're going to transfer that ownership over to Kyle Crowley. So let's get started. So first things first, as you can see, I've got all of our commandlets that we're gonna run here, and I'm gonna go through each one of them step by step. So the first thing that we need to do is install a couple of modules. So the first one that we are going to install is the microsoft.powerapps.administration.powershell. Oh, let's load and I'll get this one ready. Okay, that's run. So the next one that we are going to install is microsoft.powerapps.powershell. Okay. Now the next commandlet is add Power Apps account. Now, importantly, the account that you log into with this is the account that is going to take ownership of the Power App. So in this instance, we're going to transfer this over to Kyle Crowley. So I'm going to log in with the Kyle Crowley account. So I'm just going to log in with my two-step verification. I recommend everybody have this switched on in their tenant. Um, highly recommend that. Okay, so we're in. So the session is started. So the next command that we need to run is the set admin power app owner command. So this is to transfer the ownership of the app. Now, usually I'd run the command and then I would enter each variable as a time, but it seems to be quite temperamental this. And um, so we're just gonna run the whole commandlet as one with the variables entered, but I'm just gonna run through each variable now so we know where to find them. So the first variable is app name. Now to get the app name, it's not the actual name of the app, it's the ID of the application. So when you go into Power Apps, if you just click the ellipsis here and then you click details, you can see the app ID here. So as you can see, I've put that in inverted commas for that variable. The next variable that it looks for is the app owner. Now for this app owner is the person who's gonna take ownership um, and it's the person that we logged in with. Now what you need to run for this is your global variable colon current session dot user ID. So that's getting the user ID of who's currently logged in. Um, again, this needs to be specific to this because again, if you, if you just put your email address, that will fail, that will not work. And um, finally, the variable that I asked for is the environment name. Now to get the environment name, as you can just see in the URL, when you're in your Power Apps is you've got environments and then after that, everything after that is the environment name. So this is the default environment and then there's its ID after it. So it's before the forward slash apps. So for this instance, in the inverted commas, I've put them. So I am just going to run this now and press enter. It'll take a couple of seconds. And there you have it, it's ran. So now that's transferred the ownership. So now if we look back at these apps, there you can see the ownership has been transferred to Kyle Crowley from the admin account. Um, I hope this video helps. Thank you very much for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you and take care.